everybody, welcome back to Rachel Bella Crafts. Rachel here, hope you're well. So I am carrying on working on my paper bag journal. Um, this has been our, um, our weekly challenge now. Uh, Part one went up a couple of days ago, so if you haven't caught that yet, you might want to pop over and check that out. Um, but what I'm going to be doing this morning is um, showing you uh, just an idea for a quick page layout with one of our lovely flip pockets. So um, those of you that have been crafting along will have seen that they've been lots of different kind of, you know, flip open pages and extra areas that we can um, put things and write things in this journal and um, we're just trying to make the most of the space that we've got without um, the journal getting too bulky so um, I've actually been inspired I was inspired to do this project by um, Hilda from Creati uh, Hilda is a huge huge source of inspiration to me um, I'm absolutely fascinated by her work. Uh, she's been on our um, design team for a very long time. I think she's one of the first to join the design team. Um, and her work is just absolutely amazing. Um, if you haven't yet checked her out, please go and check out her Instagram page. I think she's also got um, a page on uh, Facebook as well. Um, but I will put links down below for you to see uh, her work because it's just tremendous. Um, so she did a project last week. She did a beautiful botanical journal. She um, very kindly always puts lots of excellently taken photographs and i think that is crucial sometimes to showing your work isn't it uh, her photographs are really clear um and the one set that went up i was like oh my gosh that's amazing i've got to try that so what she did is she created um a set of waterfall pockets um now i'm sure this idea is not a new idea I'm, I'm well aware of that and what she's done is she's combined it with a belly band um, it just fascinated me. So I wanted to have a go today. So what I've done, um, just to make things a little bit easy for you all, I've created a freebie for you. Um, the idea of the freebie is that it's a template. Um, so they are two pages from the kit. One is out of the kit, one is out of the uh, coffee freebies. Um, and what I've done is I've added a template to um, the pages. So what it'll do then is it'll show you, first of all, where to cut. So there's two lines down here. So this one I've already cut out already. Um, but if I show you quickly on here, you should then be able to see um, if you just cut down these lines here and then these dotted lines are fold lines. So don't cut those. <laughs> They're to show us what we're going to fold, okay? But this is just a really quick and easy, um, you know, way for you to put together the pockets I'm going to make now um, without worrying about measuring and everything else. So it's all on that page and it will give you this size pocket obviously if you want to make them wider you'll have to you know make your own templates but this is just a quick get to get you started kind of thing um, and what I've also done is I've put a little semicircle on the top there so that you know where you need to cut the um, the thumb divot as well so that's the two um, freebies they are on our coffee page not as part of the membership they're just on uh, in, I think you have to go to the shop and then you can click purchase but it's free if that makes sense so you just download it um again i'll put the link down below so you can just go and get those off there and then you can craft along so if you do want to go do that now that's great grab them come back um uh, if not if you just want to watch me um go through this fantastic so what i've done is i've tried to save a little bit of time um i've gone ahead and done uh, several stages of my pockets here um just so that you can get an idea of what we're going to do but i'm just going to quickly show you how to fold these templates so there are two fold lines here but the first thing that you need to do is to take the pocket and fold it in half so that's that's the first bit so let's just do that like i say there's nothing complex about this whatsoever um and having those lines to help you cut out your pockets should just be helpful because at least then you know they're all going to be the same size. So that's the first one. Do this one as well. And ba -ba 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 -ba. Just try and line up at the top there. Now obviously there's going to be some degree of movement because of printers and you know, mine does the dreaded white line thing. So you've got to hope that your printer alignment is bang on for everything to come out, you know, absolutely correct. But um, don't worry, if anything is just slightly off, when they're all uh, in shape at the end, you can always just trim off any extra bits that shouldn't be there. Okay, so that's the three pockets. That's the basic shape. Um, now, before we do anything else, I suggest 
but at this point you now cut out your divots now this is just a bit of a, a cheap way to do this but when you um take all three of your pockets put them on top of the other and make sure that they are completely lined up at the top and on the side take your um circle cutter if you have a circle cutter if you don't at this point now you can very carefully go around that with your scissors um but with your circle cutter then sorry i should empty that pop it over the top the reason i'm saying this is because a um actually the more paper you have together it is easier to use these cutters but secondly when it comes to you putting the prop the pockets together you'll know then that they're going to be in exactly the same place so when they line up one in front of the other at least then your hole is in the same place now the next thing that we're going to do before we continue folding is inking because with these pockets i think inking is super super important now if you really don't like inking that's fine but when you're layering something one on top of the other it's just really really helpful if you can see it clearly um and the reason i'm inking these one on top of the other is because again the more paper you have in your hand the more stable the item is for you to ink um but not only that you do then get overlay of ink on the, the layer underneath and you can't ever have too much ink i don't think with these pockets uh, there's going to be a little bit more inking to do in a moment when we fold again but we'll come back to that i'm just more concerned about us getting these um bits at the top done first so go all the way around make sure you do the back as well because you will see the back so don't forget to um to ink your back bits um and again we're just going to go around make sure we get right in that some hole there because you need that to be nice and clear um all the way around let me just do all that around there. and just as a reminder oh hush now you sorry she whose name must not be mentioned is pinging at me i think she's trying to tell me that there's a delivery out for me um <coughs> nothing terrifically exciting or crap related i'm afraid it's just chlorine for my pool <laughs> but um Yes, it's that warm in Wales. The pool has been up more than two days and I now need to put some chlorine tablets in it, which is something that never happens because we never have a paddling pool at that long in this country. But, my goodness, it's been a tremendous few days with the heat. Um, so, yeah, uh, yeah, no, no craft stuff being done today. I'm actually on a... I'm on craft hiatus at the moment, craft buying hiatus, rather. I'm trying not to... Uh, Try not to purchase anything at the moment. I want to try and use up what I've got. I was trying to have a bit of a year of it really, but um, things don't always go to plan. But I'm not doing too bad so far. So, yeah, that's why she's pinging. Right, so that's all of that inked now. Again, just making sure that you get right in there because you'll be able to see a little bit of that when you open it. Now, if you've obviously inked... Um, Oh, not inked. If you've double printed, printed double side, uh, it won't matter because you'll have a pattern on the inside. But if you haven't, then I suggest that you just go through and just do that to the top of the inside on the back page. There we go. Okay, so that's enough teaching you how to ink. I'm sure you all know what you're doing, eh? Um, right, so that's that bit done. I'll pop that on there because I'm going to need a little bit more ink in a moment, but not just yet. So now back to the folding. So let's separate the pockets out again now. Now what you're going to do is there's a line here now. Can you see that little line there? That's what we're going to fold on. All right. Now when you fold your um, pocket, um, you may find that there's a little bit of movement between this top piece of paper here and the one above. Now sometimes, not always, but sometimes because you're folding, as, as with any kind of fold, I know I'm just going to fold that back now that I've done it, um, sometimes there's a bit of movement and the one will drop down a little bit. Uh, it's not so bad on that one, uh, but sometimes you'll find that they'll be like a little bit peeking over the top. That's absolutely fine. <coughs> Excuse me. Just trim it off. Um, there's not a lot you can do about it. It's just because we're folding two different layers of paper. So just trim it off. Um, don't, don't get in a stew over it. Right, so that's the first one done. So see what we're doing? We're just adding a little flap to the back now what you need to do now is just ink now that flap you know where you've made that fold sorry there we go so that just finishes that pocket off nicely there nice and clear um let's do the same with this one now so the, the dots are both sides and they should line up 
because I've measured them to line up. <laughs> so if you can see the, them on the back, you should be able to see them on the front and then vice versa. Um, and then I'm just going to turn them back that way and then fold it back. There we go. So that, did that one move? No, that one didn't either. Oh, there we go. What I've found is if I fold it forwards first and then fold it backwards, you don't tend to get that drop, but I did it that way earlier and I did have one. So I'm just, just forewarning you, if it does shift a little bit at the top, don't worry, just um, just trim that little back bit off. Because I mean, it, it should be literally just, you know, we're talking like a, a, a millimeter, not even a millimeter, just literally a tiny, tiny strand. It may be this, um, this moved. If it does move about it, doesn't it? Right. I'll just shove that down there. Shove, hark at me, I'm not shoving, I'm placing that down there, there we go. And again, just really, yeah, there's a tiny little bit, see what I mean? It's a tiny little bit there, so you may just wanna, I'm gonna just trim that off there because that's gonna annoy me. Um, just so that it's flush. And of course, what you don't wanna do is do it after and then forget because what you will need to do is just to re-ink then. So you haven't got a striking white edge on there. There we go. And let's just do that bit at the bottom there. Okay. Right. So that's your three pockets done. Uh, for this demonstration, I am doing three because obviously my um, journal is slightly narrower than the standard size. So then what you're going to do then is we're going to simply line these up on here as so but now obviously we've got oh shush, now we've got um our little flap then to stick them down with oh look i haven't inked the back of that one properly <gasps> see why it's important to ink the front and the back because it'll all be on show so just make sure that you've um you've done it all all the bits so everything that you can see is all inked because you will see everything if that makes sense i'm talking in riddles this morning aren't i sorry um right <coughs> excuse me right there we go right so just to your eye because it's only the eye that's important too just make sure it's central when you place it on the page and um, that the distance is equidistant, I love that word, uh, from top to bottom. So you will end up then with looking like this. Now, you can either just stick them down now as they are. Oh, of course, don't forget, you need to stick your pockets shut. Now, what I've done is I've stitched mine. So obviously these are the ones that I did earlier on. Now I did put print on the other side of these. Um, excuse me a second. Oh, sorry about that. Choking on here then. Um, <coughs> I have printed on the other side of these, so they. Um, I didn't have to worry too much about the inside, but these ones here. Here's the one that I prepared earlier. Let's just take those out away. These ones here, I have actually stitched. Now, just so you know where I've stitched, I haven't stitched on the flat bit. I have stitched down this side here, across that bottom there, and back up there. All right. I have need the back up there. Um, okay. But yeah, so you don't have to stitch. That's entirely up to you. I'm going for quite a, well, yeah, I suppose it's quite a grungy look in this journal. So it suits my theme to do that. Um, but you don't have to do that. So if you don't have a sewing machine, please don't worry. That is just an optional extra. Sorry, I just realised I hadn't inked the back of these. Just so much inking to do. Um, you know, obviously, if you're not working with uh, this kind of colour kit, you know, you don't have to worry overly about inking. But I just think with pockets like this, if you want them to stand out one from the other, especially using papers that are the same, that's kind of one I find is important to ink, is when you're using pages from the same piece of paper, um, just so that you can kind of see them one on top of the other, if that makes sense. Right, let's be brave now, shall we? And let's stick these down, because I've kind of been putting off doing that now, and I to waffle. But 
I need to do that now. So what I'm going to just do a minute, just so that I know um, they are all of equal distance, because it's a bit tricky trying to do that when the back of the thing is a bit gluey. So I'm going to line them up by eye. I think, I think, think, think that they're equally distanced there. I mean, if you really, really want to, you can use a ruler at this point, but I don't measure anything, you know that. I just like things to just look right. I find sometimes you can use a ruler and it still not look right. Because everything's got to be right for it to be right when you use a ruler, isn't it? So just make sure it looks good to the eye. What did I just do with those bits of washi tape I had in my hand? Oh, there they are. So let me just grab that a second. Plonk that there in a second, and then let's have that one there and pop that there, just so I know. And then I am going to use something that's going to be pretty quick drying, actually. So I might use my uh, glitter glue for this, which I hope is going to work. Okay, so with that tape now in place, I'm just going to a little tiny bit of glue on there and then I'm going to fold that down um, as per usual I have nothing to hand to wipe off my excess so finger it is because on this occasion excess glue is not going to be your friend so you need to get rid of that because we are only sticking down this fold we don't want this pocket getting stuck anywhere else, all right? So just be mindful of that. There we go. Yeah, it's not giving you if I move that now, look. Right, um, I, my advice would be use three bits of washi tape if you're doing this the way I'm doing it, because um, the one in the middle is always gonna move. When you glue in, line them up if you can here. But there's always going to be an element of shift, I know that, when you're flipping things back and forth. That's why it might be easier, if you do find it easier that way, to just mark it out. Um, I can't work like that, you know that. <laughs> I don't know why my brain won't allow it. It's funny, I was talking to my other half last night. Um, we are very different in the way that we approach things. Uh, my partner's actually uh, dyslexic, so um, with his dyslexia, he finds that um, you know things have to be done in a specific way. He's got, I would say, it's a kind of OCD really, um, but just there have to be patterns to things and routines to things, and if things don't go according to plan, it, you know, it can be quite upsetting for him. Um, and my middle son is, is very similar as well, actually. Um, but I'm not like that at all. And we were actually sat in the garden last night, kind of laughing about it. And I was saying, you know, I, I must get on his nerves because I'm very chaotic. Everything is just, I, I always laugh. I think a bit of hippie in me, I think. But I'm very much, case or are, it is what it is. You know, whatever will be, will be. And, you know, let's just hope it all turns out all right. <laughs> it's just probably not best way to go about things but uh, I don't get stressed so you know if things don't work out change the plan isn't there but um yeah it's funny I don't know maybe it's a male and female thing I don't know I don't know because maybe some ladies are like that I don't know but I know um yeah very much so it's funny because having two people in the house that are like that it, it sometimes can be a bit frustrating but you always have to kind of plan for them then you know because like I say, I can, I'm can. i just, it's so easy going, it's, it's ridiculous. Too easy going probably sometimes, but um, they are not, you know. So I have to sometimes be mindful of that. Because my easy goingness can be a little bit perhaps chaotic for them. But uh, 
So I do apologise if my lack of measuring is, is causing you um, to twitch. But uh, it all works out all right in the end. There we go. A little bit of... Uh, perhaps a quick tip for this. Don't use fast drying glue. There we go. Right. Okay. So that's our pockets in place. And they do do the waterfall thing. Yay! I'm so happy that worked. Right, so that's those done. Now, on to the second bit that was very clever of what Hilda did. Um, <clears throat> so what I've done is I've cut um, a piece off one of my kit pages. I've just gone down with my guillotine like that. And then I fold it in half, as so. And I've actually gone a step further with this one. I've gone around and stitched around the edges just to give it a little bit more... Um, you know, made it a bit more solid. Now you can do this with a bit of cardstock, but I just thought it'd be nice to have it all matching. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut now a piece off the bottom. So please don't be horrified when I cut into this now. Um, and we're going to aim to run this up the center of my rather wonky uh, thingy majigs. No, they're not wonky, they're fine. Right, so that needs to go up the middle there. Uh, I'm just looking at where I'm going to cut this. So I'm going to cut this just below um, where it says number nine. And hopefully, that'll be right. So I'm just going to ink that a moment. Right. There we go. So that will go there like that. Right. I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to stick it down. I just hope this works out now. Okay, so that'll go there like that. Just like that. Just make sure that's in the middle. Okay, watch a note for the extra bits of glue. Then, this bit here, now you might, you don't need all this on there, you might want to cut that short. Uh, it's entirely up to you. I mean, you can have it there if you want, if you want to have that hanging down the back. Again, it's entirely up to you. But the most important thing here now, and this must line up, is that this lines up with, um, with this. So... I'm just going to that there just a second or maybe I need to side oh yeah that's far too long so I'm going to just cut this down but I need it to not be seen so it needs to disappear behind the pocket if that makes sense um, so I'm going to cut this here I'm just going to do it there we are I'm just getting that end there we go right <sighs> sorry Molten on my book. Yeah. Okay. So again, just lining that up there, making sure that that's. Oh, and I also need to ink that bit there. Right. Now, before I do stick this down, the last thing I'm going to just double check with now, I'm taking. Um, you know, I printed off uh, out of the kit. I've got these tickets. I printed some of them off half size. I've folded them in half because I have done them on this so that you can fold them in half if you want to and I'm going to use this as a as a closure so that's going to stick on there at the bottom now Hilda used a beautiful butterfly on hers but I'm going to do this slightly differently and I'm going to use one of these tickets because the idea is that the belly band will then tuck in behind there if that makes sense so I'm just going to stick that on there so we know that that's in the right <clears throat> a little bit of glue just along the bottom part there okay and then we're going to fix this down. Now, obviously, I haven't got a lot of space on this page because my page is not very really big. But just bear in mind that when you affix your closure at the bottom, I probably should have taken these pockets further up. So that's my first error there. But there we are. We live and learn, don't we? I'm doing this with you guys. So when you put your pockets in, maybe position them a little further up the page so you've got a little bit more space to play with this closure because um, I have not left myself much room because obviously if the pocket the tickets over over flapping I won't be able to do this will I so maybe just move them up a bit and then you have a bit more room to do a closure and a thing okay so that's my first error but there we go they do happen and that's how we learn isn't it so now you need to position this so that it can tuck 
behind here. So I think that will be just fine there. And it needs to be coming down in the middle there. That's fine. Right, so I'm just going to pop a bit of glue on the back of that. On that flappy bit there. I don't think I'm going to need too much. That's probably too much. And just straighten that up. There we go. And then lift that out so I don't end up sticking the top down as well. Make sure there's no excess coming off. Excellent. And there we go. So that's a very... unpracticed version. I'm sure have I had more time to work things out, it might have been a bit um, yes, there we are. Excellent. So there we have it. You have your waterfall pocket with a belly band closure as inspired by Hilda from Creati. So thank you for joining me today with the video. Um, I hope that you have a go at these waterfalls. Don't forget the freebie is on our coffee channel. Put the link below for you to do that. Um, this is part of the uh, waterfall, no, this is part of the paper bag challenge that's in the Facebook group. So um, please pop your, your video, your pictures. If you have a go, please pop your pictures into the, the group and share them with us. Um, and it'd be great to see your different variations on how you would do it, stitched or not. Um, and again, then it just is another nice foldy project to go into our lovely journal. And when I come back to my next video, I will show you what I've been working on on the front pages. But for now, take care, everybody. Have a great day and I'll be back with you very soon. Bye now.